The European Parliament gives the green light to a new European Commission. More than 200 million people, voters, uh, went to the ballot boxes and voted in the European Parliament. And now, after this democratic uh, uh, success, we have to bring now the Commission off. A debate about how to boost the fight against climate change ahead of an upcoming UN conference in Madrid. If we are to stand a chance in the world, let us be the continent with the cleanest industry that keeps providing jobs also for the future and a belated award ceremony for the 2018 winner of the Sakharov Prize for Freedom of Thought, Oleg Sentsov. Andrei Sakharov, Nelson Mandela, Vaslav Gavl. I have never been able to imagine that my name will be placed in one ring with such people. It's a great honor and a great responsibility. And thank you for this. EU Commissioner nominees have come through a gruelling series of Parliament Committee hearings. European Commission President-elect Ursula von der Leyen presented her team to MEPs in plenary in Strasbourg. And MEPs gave their green light to the new European Commission. The EPP gave clear promises to the voters. More security, internally fight against terrorism and, uh, and organised crime, externally strengthen the border control. We want to have an economic future for Europe. We need trade deals, we need uh, 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 more research for having good products and services for tomorrow. And we want to have a good uh, perspective for our ecological footprint of the Europeans. So fight against climate change. And uh, the EPP commissioners are clearly committed to these uh, ideas. Madrid is hosting a new United Nations climate conference in December. So MEPs debated what the EU should do to step up its efforts to tackle climate change. And Esther Delanger, the EPP group's vice president in charge of economy and environment, talked about how young people's climate concerns can be channeled. I'm so happy that young people actually have a, a cause that they fight for. It's now up to people who make policy to make sure that we have policies that deliver for these young people, for the future of our planet, but also for a continent where jobs uh, and growth is still guaranteed through clean industry. The Parliament's 2018 Sakharov Prize for Freedom of Thought went to Ukrainian film director Oleg Sentsov in recognition of his peaceful protest against Russia's illegal occupation of his native Crimea. He was imprisoned by Russia in 2014 on trumped-up charges and only released in September 2019. Sandra Kalniete is an EPP Group Vice President and is responsible for foreign affairs. By awarding Oleg Sentsov with the Sakharov Prize, we wanted to send the message, not only to Oleg Sentsov, but to all those more than 70 political prisoners, illegally detained Ukrainian citizens in Russia's prisons, that we know about you, that we care about you, that we stand for you. The EPP group, who met Mr. Sentsov in Strasbourg to pay tribute to him, had in fact nominated him for the Sakharov Prize. The current context, Ukraine remains under attack from Russia and Crimea is still illegally occupied by Russia. I accept this prize not as a personal prize, but as a sign of which are mentioned all the Ukrainian political prisoners who were in Russian prisons, as all the Ukrainian prisoners who are still there.